Welcome to Dendis Vlogs Dentistry. A birth kit. This birth kit is designed by Dr. Moise Kakiani on the tenet that the most important aspect of a birth is its tip. Knowing the shape and dimensions of the burr use, especially at its working tip, is of prime importance in order to ensure the desired margin architecture and the desired amount of tooth reduction can be achieved on a predictable basis. The 19 gold series burrs in this kit are strategically divided into 7 clusters, each designed for a specific prosthetic material purpose. For ease of recognition and communication, the burrs are named on the basis of either their tip design, for example, MS for modified shoulder, DC for deep chamfer, etc., or on the basis of their function, for example, OR for occlusal reduction, IR for incisor reduction, etc. In addition, the number associated with each burr indicates the diameter of the burr at its tip or its functional length. Example, DC 1.4 burr is a deep chamfer burr with tip diameter of 1.4 mm. IR 2.0 is an incisor reduction burr with a functional length of 2 mm. Described next are individual burrs in the kit with their design concept and protocol for use. So one, BFM margin, first row on the left. Number one, the MS 1.0. This is a modified shoulder burr with a tip diameter of one millimeter. The classic shoulder burr creates a sharp internal line angle at the preparation margin. This area is prone to stress concentrations, possibly leading to abutment fracture at the neck region. The MS burr has been designed as a flat tip burr, but with rounded edges that produce a smooth junction between the finish line and the axial walls. Such a modification helps reduce stress concentrations at this vulnerable part of the preparation. This burr is to be used by sinking the tip to its full depth, thereby leaving a 1mm groove in the tooth. It can be used for preparing the buccal or labial margin for a PFM processes. DC 1.0 This is a deep chamfer burr with a tip diameter of 1 mm. This burr is to be used only half its depth in order to avoid formation of a lip of enamel at the margin. Thus, when used correctly, the 1 mm burr leaves a 0.5 mm groove in the tooth. It's used for preparing the lingual or palatal margin when planning a PFM process with a lingual or palatal metal collar. It's also used for preparing all the margins, 360 degree margins, when planning a monolithic zirconia or a monolithic metal processes and for a porcelain laminate veneer preparation. MS 1.3F This is a modified shoulder finishing burr with a tip diameter of 1.3 mm. This burr is used by sinking the tip slightly short of its full depth, thereby developing a margin that is 1 to 1.2 mm in width. It's used for finishing buccal, or labial and proximal margins when preparing the tooth for a PFM processes. DC 1.2F this is a deep chamfer finishing burr with a tip diameter of 1.2 mm. As this is a deep chamfer design, it is to be used only half its depth to avoid formation of a lip of enamel at its margin. Thus, when used correctly, this burr leaves a 0.5 to 0.6 mm deep chamfer margin. It's used for finishing the lingual or palatal margin 
when preparing the tooth for a PFM processes with a metal collar. It's also used for finishing all the prepared margins when planning a monolithic zirconia or a monolithic metal processes. In addition, it is also used to finish the proximal and palatal or lingual margins for a porcelain fused zirconia or a lithium lysilicate processes, especially for anterior teeth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe to this channel for more. If you feel that this video will be of value to your friends and colleagues, kindly share this with them. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time. Thank you.